integrating two personalities into one. Oh my goodness. Yes. And, 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 you know, you have, um, when you can go, you can go really spiritually and deep about it. Sometimes people have had sexual intercourse with other people prior to that marriage. So they bring all that baggage into, and this is, this is supernatural and spiritual, but it's actually a fact. They literally have to divorce all those men or all those women that they came into that marriage with prior to marrying. Because you have all these different spirits that that is now con con convoluting these two people, and you're like, what is going on? You know, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? If you ever notice uh, someone divorced someone, okay? If you notice the person that they marry is just like the other person they just divorced, it's like the or or it's just like their mama, or you know what I'm saying? It's like the same spirit. Is in that next person, but it has a different head and different looks, and but it's the same nature. It's it's true. So you literally have to divorce all of those things first before you can even start talking. Yeah, like you said, it creates that baggage that you bring with you. Yes. And, and, it's, and so then you have to work almost twice as hard, not only to get through your own your own stuff, but then you have to work and then you have the family issues um, I got uh, I got this call about um, this woman told this man on New Year's night uh, that I don't no longer want to be with you you know because my family says that I shouldn't be with you I'm like what <laughs> you know so you have the family issues too if the family don't like the other person the other party they can destroy the marriage you know so that is yeah. that's heavy too. Yeah, I mean, you think now you're talking about external factors, and, mm -hmm. and, and so um, it's hard enough to work it out between the two of you. But then when you start bringing your family members into it, then um, you know it, it becomes obviously it becomes much more difficult. Right. I have a, a scripture that I want to touch on, and I, I like to hit on the scripture when it applies, but this thing, I think this seems applicable. It says um, in uh, Hosea chapter 2, verse 2, it says, Plead with your mother, plead, um, for she is not my wife. You see, the word of God says that. <laughs> and neither, neither am, her, am I her husband. Let her therefore put away her whoredom out of her sight and her adulteresses from between her breasts. Now, see, this is like, what, you know, how does adultery relate with that? Well, it does relate because here some mothers have so much control over their sons. They literally have an intimate relationship without their, with their sons without being incest. It is so much close to it, though. You see what I'm saying? So the Bible even talks about that because now when he sees a woman that he wants to marry, here's the mother all up in their mess and just in the bed with them, you know, and never letting them be, you know, and, and then she now causes a divorce between the, and that's what I was talking about in, in the, the phone call I got on this New Year's, um, this relationship was broken because of the family. Adultery comes in, in so many forms, um, but it, the, 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 I think you can try it for 30 days. This is my um, um, uh, formula for success.